Okay, here is a little video for you about Viddle and why I think it is so, so fun. It has let me pre-make some slides so I can just slide through the different ones that I've made for you. Let's look at Dancing Dots. So Dancing Dots I talked about earlier and if you look closely, it looks like the lines just are dancing a little bit. It just makes it look more fun and I just love it. Super fun. On this slide, I went ahead and pre-drew a staff. And just a little FYI, there are three different kinds of markers in this. Uh, four colors, black, blue, red, green. Uh, but three different kinds of markers, and then you can adjust the opacity and thickness of each of these. So there's thickness three on uh, marker A, opacity 50%, which is kind of what it looks like. This has a great um, drawing and erasing tool. So if I was going to use this for a lesson, I might draw a treble clef. And then I can always zoom into that treble clef. This is a treble clef. These are the five lines, four spaces. So that's kind of a neat feature. You can hear my dog chewing in the background here. And then I can select this treble clef. And I can place it on the staff. I can show you it goes over that second line. It doesn't go here. That's wrong. I can even flip it upside down, which is kind of fun. I can also draw a bass clef. While I'm still talking to you, there's my little dog again. And I can go ahead and select that bass clef. And I can put it in the correct spot as well. This is correct. This is not correct. This is upside down, so it's kind of a neat tool. Okay, one more fun thing about it. Um, you could play like a theory game with this. And I can select over them. And does it fit here? Let's count it. One, two, and three. One, three, and four. Okay, letter A works. Let's try letter B though, just in case. Maybe there's more than one correct answer. And you see I selected it, but I missed a corner of it um, right here. So that is the downfall of that select tool that I mentioned in my blog, and I just did it again. Oops. Okay, let's see if this one works. One, two, and three. One, three, and a. Nope, that doesn't work, so we're going to get rid of that one, um, etc. So you could go on and, and do something like this in a video. All in all, I think this is a really great app. I think it has lots of useful applications for you. Um, it's very usable and user-friendly and has some neat features too. So, yay! I hope you try it.